what is going on folks it is opening week on the river so what I thought I would do just to start things off was to go through um, what my setup is for the sort of spring and early part of the season so here it is this is my rod and reel setup I've gone for a 10 foot 10 to 60 gram spinning rod you can see the water levels are fairly high so something with a bit of backbone is kind of really what you're needing so I've gone for a like I say 10 foot 10 to 60 gram rod plenty of backbone um, it will cast the sort of heavier lures that you're needing at this time of year paired it up with a sort of 4000 size reel um, depending on the water conditions I might go for a 6000 again that depends on the water conditions and how much line I might need um, on this at the moment I've gone for the braided line so pretty strong braided line I think it's about £40 now that's not because I feel like I'm going to catch a £40 fish but just because there's the off chance that you might get snagged and I don't know if you can see but the river I'm fishing on there are quite a few snags in the water so it's good to have that line to get your lure back sort of terminal tackle sort of set up if I can get this down here so you can see it I've got a, this is my lure then a snap swivel then I've got maybe about three foot of line just mono and then I have double swivel now the double swivel is pretty good especially for braid if you've got spinning lures it stops the line twisting um, I usually tend to use ball bearing swivels okay so that really can help it can really really help uh, in terms of lures that I'm using at this time of year I'll be using the first lure out of the box for me is an Abu Garcia Toby um, carry these in a range of sizes range of colours and they always tend to do quite well for me um, in the box as you can see I carry quite a lot of Tobies in a range of different sizes so I've got them the big Salmos 30 grams um, sort of 28 20s again a range of colours down to down to 10 I've even got some 4s in there for lighter weather um, when I'm fishing with the Tobies I tend to either rig them up with a treble hook or with a single hook if I can get this out, there you go, a single hook or a treble hook it just depends, um, sometimes if you catch a sea trout on a treble hook and it's quite small because it can be quite greedy, the hook sizes are quite big so what tends to happen at times is it can be quite difficult to remove so sometimes I switch it up and go for a single hook um, I also carry around flying seas, a range of sizes, a range of colours um, that's just one of them, but I tend to stick to sort of black, yellow and red um, and vary the blades and vary the weights depending again on the, the water conditions um, Devon minnows, they can also be quite successful again, range of sizes, range of colours, floating, sinking, whatever you need and also um, I carry around sort of floating rapalas and jointed rapalas and things like that just to give myself something else a little extra chance and also for this year I've added these little things on headbanger lures now I get into these for pike fishing but they can be pretty good for a salmon and sea trout they're quite new so I'm quite confident that these will work they've got a nice erratic action good good rattle on them in this colour at this time of year orange sort of red orange and gold is, is money um, in terms of colours for these, it tends to work the best. A lot of people sort of swear by the copper, which again is a pretty good lure, pretty good colour. Again, silver works quite well. And also, if I can find it, I've got one to hand. These ones, no, black and gold, so sort of zebra ones, so they'd be my three colours of Toby. Flying sea again, red, kind of yellow, black, or sometimes you get the sort of hybrid ones. Um, I'll post links to it, all these are in the video. Um, but that's pretty much it for this time of year when the water levels just switch back around. When the water levels start to drop again, I will probably reduce the size of the rod. I'll go down to a nine foot rod. Bit of a lighter casting weight, smaller reel, lighter line, just to help get the smaller lures out. So 
we'll see what we can do. Let's see if we can hopefully get some fish. It's early in the season, it's quite cold. Don't think there's many fish actually in the system yet, so we'll see. We'll see how we get on. But that's my setup anyway. Hopefully this will help. <laughs> 